Well, we're so glad you can join us again for another week in our broadcast of Wonderful Day in the Lord. We're looking at two very beautiful Psalms this week, Psalm 91 and Psalm 92. So I'd encourage you to get your Bibles out and follow along with what we have to say here, and then read them yourself, meditate upon them. I hope what we do here is showing you the, the depth and the beauty of these, uh, these Psalms that uh, if you can read them in a hurry and get a little bit, but if you slow down, do some observations, think it through, meditate upon these Psalms, you'll get so much more out of them and they'll be a, a true uh, encouragement to your heart and your life and your walk with Christ. Well, in Psalm 91, we're looking at the issue of security. And this is one of the most beloved of all the Psalms. And as I read a few of the verses, you'll see why. Psalm verse 1 says this, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For it is He who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His pinions, and under His wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bald work. You will not be afraid of the terror by night. Now, I'll get into verse 5 uh, probably tomorrow, but uh, let's, let's go back and look at the first four verses that open up this, this wonderful psalm. And we notice here that security in life comes in our relationship with God. So he's going to talk about a little bit later on some of the things that make us insecure, some of the scary things of life, some of the difficult things of life, <clears throat> that uh, causes us to, to struggle with our security and, our, and, and leads to anxiety. But he starts off where most of us need to start every time, with the truthfulness of God, the, who he really is, and, and what he's like. So he starts off by talking about the names of God. So he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High. So the first word is, is Most High. That's a Hebrew word, speaking of the, the greatness, the power, the majesty of God. The second word is Almighty in verse 1, will dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. That's, that's the term Elohim. Many of us are familiar with that one. And that speaks of the all-powerful God of the universe. In verse 2, I will say to my Lord, now that word is the word Jehovah, or Yahweh. And again, this is the highest name for God. This is the self-existent one, the self-sufficient one. This is the high holy name for God himself. And it's always in the English, in most of our Bibles, in all caps, all four letters in caps. My refuge and my fortress, my God. And so he is now talking once again about, about God in whom I trust. And so he is talking about uh, uh, God through the names. And this is one of the expressive things about the Old Testament, in contrast even to the New Testament, is there are many different words used for things like God or or sin that gives a, a flavor and a nuance and a, and a a deeper understanding. And that's what he's doing here as he uses the different names of God. He is expressing uh, different aspects of his relationship with God and his understanding with God. And we would do uh, ourselves a great favor by looking at those type of things. So he starts off with the, the names of God, but, but he's going to talk about security found in God and there's a condition for that, uh, that security, and that's found in verse 1. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. So we see the, the security found in, um, in the shelter of the Most High and under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, a shadow is cast by a substance. And so the presence of God, the very person of God, casts that shadow. And our security is found there. But the condition is dwelling in the shelter of the Most High. To dwell, it means to, to actually exist there, to be comfortable there, to live there. And so he's saying here that we're settling down into the shelter of the Most High. So we've turned our attention to him. And notice also another thing, the use of pronouns in these verses. Basically the pronoun of my. He says, verse 2, I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, and my God. This is not theology in general. This is personalized truth. This is my God, my refuge, and so forth. 
And he uses these terms of the Lord who, who is his refuge, his fortress, one he trusts in. And why does he trust in the Lord? Verse 3, for it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and bald work. He can trust in his God. And because he can trust in his God, whatever life throws at him, he has the security that's found under the wings, under the pinions, under the shadow of the Almighty. What a good start to this psalm. We'll look tomorrow at another aspect, the things that tend to rock our security and causes us anxiety. Hope you can join us. <music>